What's up everyone, it's your boy Norman Red 89 here. Got my coffee here this morning, chilling. Last night, got to check out Prey on Hulu, the latest installment in the Predator franchise. And today we're gonna talk positives, the negatives, the rating, then I'm gonna send you all home. And of course, we're gonna keep this non-spoiler just so you guys all have a chance to check it out. Like I said, it's currently streaming on Hulu. That's where you can check it out. So let's get into this video. Roll it. So Prey is the latest installment in the Predator franchise as we follow a new character in this one. It's a prequel film and we follow Amber Mid-Thunder, the actress she plays Naru, who is a young Comanche gatherer, but she wishes to be a hunter, kind of like her brother. She wants to be with the pack of the men. She wants to go out, she wants to hunt, and she wants to provide for her people. And unbeknownst to them, she ends up finding out first that there is something else out there in the forest more than just you know, bears and wolves and stuff like that. There is a definitely a hardcore, more violent predator out there that they are going to have to deal with. And let's get into this right off the bat. Positives right away is I love the concept and the prequel story and nature of this film. This is the perfect style. In terms of writing and directing, this was the, like I said, the perfect style and idea to go back to basics and really strip down all the stuff about the predator films that have recently been coming out. All the technology and tying it into alien versus predator and you know all this stuff like they they erased all that stuff and had nothing to deal with any of that because this is a prequel film and wanted to go down to the basic concept of just predator hunting prey another amazing positive with this film is our lead actress amber mid thunder i think she does a fantastic job playing the underdog that wants to you know really show her tribe that she is capable of providing for her family and she's wants to do the major things like I said hunting and everything and she does a great job also throughout the film providing her showing her wits showing how smart she is what kind of skills she has and showing that she can learn from others and improve throughout the film so she's the perfect kind of character for this movie plus this film takes enough time with her to really develop her character and like the scenes that she has with her dog, like even if there's nothing being said, it's like, it's special. You can really feel there's a connection. And like I said, she really does embody this character that she played on screen. Another cool thing about this film is it does feel very authentic. There is a Comanche track, I must let you all know. So there's a, a Comanche language track you can watch this film in. And there's an English track just in case you're not cool with subtitles or anything like that. But just in, in, in outside of that, the authenticity of the way it looks and like the nature, everything, the setting, all that stuff. It's very basic, stripped down, but it feels real. It feels like the vibe of that time. It takes place in 1719. That's when it's supposed to take place. And oh man, they really did a great job of just setting the scene and making it feel like, yeah, like a period piece, like you're watching something from 1719. I think it was amazing. And add to that our other addition of a positive is the predator i love our predator design in this film they went more old school because of course when you're going hundreds of years back in the past like the predator is not going to have all the technology that he has in like 2024 like you know what i mean it's not going to be like that so they really did go back to basics and kind of focus on the Predator a lot too as well and use this film to show off different technology that they would have had in tools back in the day. Another great thing about this film is like I said, it takes its time. This film isn't a long film. It's only about an hour and 40 minutes, but they take their times with their characters and you appreciate that because there's actual character development, there's growth and you have a reason to care for her and like the tribe and her brother and like people that are what's going on. You just have a reason to care about them because they take their time to build them up. It doesn't feel like we're hopping from scene to scene, getting no story and it's just a bunch of jumbled bullshit. Like that's, that's not what it feels like. There's a consistent, really good story in the center of this film. Also, we have some amazing kills in this film, I think, and fight scenes that, like, the concepts, the fight scenes, the kills, oh, all top-notch for real. Like I said, the Predator design, I really like that, too. It, it all came out for me. This film met all my expectations, pretty much. I did have a couple negatives. We'll get into that when we talk about the negatives, but in terms of everything I wanted from the positives, it really did just meet all my expectations. It's a banger of a concept, like for real. I've been thinking about this idea and concept for years and years, and I thought this is 
where they should go with the Predator, and it really is. It really was the best, I think, one of the coolest ideas for the writers and directors to do because, like I said, they were able to strip down all that crazy nonsensical crap and focus mainly down on the story and bring us, like I said, one of the most unique kind of individual, you know, Predator installments in the franchise. You know, Prey is definitely unique in its own style for sure, but also has a good homage feel to the first Predator film. So let's get into the negatives, because there are a couple negatives I have with this film. Overall, though, I had a fucking amazing time with this film. Well, let's get into it. One main negative right off the bat. As you guys know me, I am the king and love practical effects. I will always champion practical effects. And I know with some of these fight scenes, you have to go CGI because it's Predator fighting like, you know, animals and stuff. Like we've seen in the trailer, he, he takes on a bear. He fights a bear. So that that's CGI. You can't have the Predator actor fighting a real freaking bear. So I understand that, but I'm talking about the blood and a lot of that stuff and the gore. It's pretty much all CGI. So that's one thing for me that just, it kind of, some things, it kind of takes me out of it just a little bit. This film is badass and it has really cool kills and awesome fight scenes. But just a little bit, it takes me out of it when you see like hardcore, just completely computer generated blood. Like I'm like, ah. especially because like I said, with the original Predator film, Predator 2, like it's pr practically, it's all practical effects pretty much. Like only just about his phaser is a CGI thing. Everything else is pretty much practical built effects. Like even when he rips out the spine out of that, that billy on the top of the tree, like all practical. So yeah, this one, the CGI does hurt it a little bit. And for me, there's one other thing is I know this predator in this film, he's a he's a Yaucha, which is a predator that has not achieved like warrior status, basically. So he's kind of like her. He His character mirrors Amber Midthunder's character a little bit. And I would have liked more time with the predator. And I know we can, he can't speak, but we already have established in this film that they can tell a good deal of story without speaking a lot. So I think it would have been cool to have the predator and her their stories really mirroring each other to like really create that tension and that good levity in the story. So as for rating for Prey, currently streaming on Hulu, this film is going to get a 9 out of 10. Like for real, this is a banger of a film. Like even those negatives I have, those are kind of like minor negatives. The CGI thing, that's just a minor negative and the story thing. That would have just elevated a little bit more for me if it was like because like i said that yaucha predator his story very much mirrors her and we don't spend as much time as i would like with him but still this is a really badass film easily one of the most unique and original stories that we've had in the predator franchise and i highly recommend checking this film out for sure and pretty soon make sure you stay tuned to the channel and like and subscribe because now that we have prey out we can rank all the predator films now and see where they lie so like i said stay tuned to the channel and of course share in the comment section what you thought of this film and have a safe and happy day everyone peace out